Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can export your 3D models from Fusion 360 as an STL file so that you can import them into a slicer for your 3D printing. And it's really, really straightforward. And basically to show you how it works, I've got this really simple gear that I've modeled up in Fusion 360. If you want to know how to model gears, I'm going to be making a tutorial on that. And there's an awesome little script in Fusion 360 that allows you to do it. So subscribe if you're interested in seeing that video. But for now, what I'm going to do is just show you how you can use different components to export for 3D printing. So once you've got whatever model you want to print, basically the important thing to know is on the browser on the left, you need to make sure that the components are visible. And you can do that by toggling the visibility light bulb right next to the component. So you can see as I'm clicking this one, we're toggling the visibility. Make sure that whatever you want to export is visible. And the same goes for whatever you don't want to export, make it invisible. So say for example, we wanted to export the big, the big gear, because these are two separate gears. What we do is hide this gear. And that means when we go to 3D print or export to 3D print, it'll only export what's visible. So for now, we're going to make everything visible because we want to export the whole thing. And to do that, what we can do is on the menu at the top there's this make button you want to click that and go to 3d print and you'll see another sort of menu pop up on the right and what this basically does is gives you a couple of little options that you can configure to export your stl file now yours might automatically have this send to 3d print utility ticked you want to untick that for now if you plan on using your own slicer so mesh mixer here is basically autodesk's own version of a slicer and you can optimize your 3D models for 3D printing. But honestly, I'm not interested in it. So I'm going to uncheck that because I'm going to import it into Prusa Slicer so that we can do our own. So basically, we've got these few options here. We've got Preview Mesh. And what this does is preview the mesh, right? So if we click a component, you'll see that it'll do this preview here. And you can see exactly how the mesh is created. Now, basically, uh, an STL file is made up of triangles. So if we zoom in really close on the teeth, you can see that it's just a, a model of triangles that create this whole object. Now, that brings me on to the next um, option, which is refinement. And you can see we've got a label above it, which says number of triangles. And in this case, we've got 7,044. And if we increase this refinement to high, you'll see that triangle can go up. And what that basically means is it's a bit more of a detailed STL file. And for 3D printing, uh, depending on what you're trying to print, what you choose might differ. But typically I stick with medium. That, that tends to be awesome most of the time. So we're going to go with that today. But basically what I, what I wanted to show you again was what I was saying before where you can select different components. So say, for example, we wanted to just export that small gear. If we click straight on the small gear, you'll see that it'll highlight just that component. So this is really useful if you've got a huge model in, 3D, uh, in Fusion 360. And say it's made up of multiple components. You know, sometimes it's really good practice to use uh, com every time you do a new part, you create a new component. So a model can end up having, you know, 20, 30, even 40 plus components. And if you're going to build something big, chances are you're going to print, print it in smaller parts and then bring it together. So it can be useful to know how to export individual components. And that's all you do. So you just click the component that you want to export. As you can see, that would export the big gear and this one would export the small gear. But if we want to export the whole thing, we just click that master component, if you like, and that will select everything. And bear in mind, if you want to select the master component, don't forget you can still hide other components and it'll just leave it out. So if you do have loads of components, you can hide some of them and then still select the master component. But as I said, we're going to export the whole thing just as a demonstration. So if we, if we hit OK, save the model wherever we like, we're going to click yes and we're going to open Prusa Slicer. I'm just going to show you how you can import what we've exported straight into Slicer. 
and it's really really easy as you know I've done tutorials on this so if you want to see them make sure you check them out so you can click this add button select the STL file that we exported click open and there it is that's that's how simple it is uh, you can see this is the model in Fusion 360 and we've just exported it straight into our slicer and that's it really straightforward um, this wasn't going to be a long tutorial but I hope you found it useful if you are interested in more sort of Fusion 360 stuff I'm currently putting together a course where it's going to be aimed at beginners but if you're sort of really serious about 3D modeling and 3D printing it's going to be a course that you're probably interested in and I'm basically going to go through all the fundamentals of designing CAD models in Fusion 360 I haven't launched the course yet but I'm going to be doing it in the near future so if you want to be notified when I do launch the course there's a link in the description where you can sign up to my newsletter and I don't spam you or nothing so don't worry about that all I'll do is notify you when I launch the course so go check that out if you're interested so before you go I just want to say thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos it means a lot if you're new to the channel consider subscribing for more videos and please leave a thumbs up on this video if you found it useful. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below where you can do that, but it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of these, and I hope you have an awesome day.